Welcome to Cadillac Postgame Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon in St. Louis, the Mets finished off the pre-All-Star break portion of their schedule, falling to the Cardinals 6 to nothing. The Mets managed just three singles against Lance Lynn, who was in firm command all day. Well, Lance Lynn won his seventh ball game, and he threw a three-hitter over seven innings and uh, threw a fine ball game. Mats, on the other hand, who came in here and pitched brilliantly, uh, just didn't have it today, uh, gave up a couple home runs. Uh, pitches up in the strike zone. Uh, he was out early. Uh, Lugo gave up another home run. The Mets fell down early, and he just kind of walked quietly into the night here. And, you know, they start the second half here, not even with 40 wins. They're, uh, they got their work cut out for them. Well, obviously, you saw he, you know, his command wasn't very good today. He was up in the zone with most of his stuff, um, falling behind in counts, which is not how he's pitched. And, again, you know, you're not going to be great every time out. And today was, uh, you know, of all the times he's, so far that he's pitched, today was the one day that he didn't have his best good stuff, and especially his command. Yeah, you know, that's what you want to do as a starting pitcher. You want to go deep into the games. You want to be efficient. You want to make good pitches, and today I didn't do that, so I was frustrated. I mean, we are we swing the bats. We're not hitting. We're not pitching. That's why, they, and you don't pitch, the games are ugly. And you don't hit, they even look worse. And, you know, they, uh, you know, Adam was on yesterday. Lance was down on his own, and, and Strike one on everybody, and they outplayed us. The story of this series was the Cardinal rookie shortstop Paul DeYoung. He had a single and a home run today, finished 9 for 12 in the series, the first Cardinal in their history to pick up seven extra base hits in a three-game series. And we're talking about a franchise that's 125 years old. A lot of great players have come down the pike here in St. Louis. A lot of great shortstops, uh, so it was really something to behold. Uh, he made outs the last two uh, at bats, but prior to that, he'd only made one out. He just had a a series you can you, you dream of. It was just an incredible series. You know, I got ahead of uh, um, De Jong, whatever his name is, uh, De Jong, De Jong, O2, and uh, the ball just kind of ran back over the plate. Um, and he, you know, he's been really hot, and you can't miss there. I want to know why he's not hitting fourth. That's my impressions. I don't write Mike's lineup. Mike's pretty good, but it's a pretty go. good series. Yeah, it's different. We're, we're farther back, you know. Um, so, like I said, I, I feel like it was in Miami maybe. Is, you know, there's no sugarcoating that we're quite the uphill battle, so we'll see what happens. You know, we got to get some energy back. We don't, we're not playing with much energy right now, and I'm hoping that the rest will help out. So, uh, you know, I don't care. It could have been two to one. Uh, it's still, uh, you know, we're going in the break. We got to not worry about today anymore. We get over with. We got to get ready for Friday, and we got to put a streak together starting Friday. So the Mets limp into the break, losing five of six. They're eight games under 500. They'll reconvene Friday night at City Field for the start of a 10 game homestand against the Colorado Rockies. Jacob DeGrom will pitch the first game out of the break. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch Friday night at 6 o'clock on SNY. That'll do it for Cadillac Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.